Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Wagon Wheel Friday. No great pearls of wisdom this week. Uh, and just a little bit of a report on last Saturday. Only one race that we bet on last Saturday. Uh, and on the screen I've got the relationship between the prices when I posted the video and then what actually appeared two or three minutes before the start of the race. So I was suggesting when I posted last week that we're looking at Holyfield and Through the Cracks as the top selection. Uh, and the only one value bet we're going to be having was Steely. Uh, as it turned out, a couple of scratchings in the race led us to eventually having Charm Me Baby became the top selection uh, because of the relationship between prices and barriers. Uh, and unfortunately, Charm Me Baby, which had $15 on, missed the start. So that was the end of that. And Steely never looked like a chance. The only good thing about the day was that we didn't back Lure Me In or Invinciano because the prices were greater than $15. Uh, and so therefore we saved a little bit of money there. The other race I was looking at got abandoned on Saturday because of the hot weather in Perth. Uh, I didn't bet in it because it wasn't really an open class race and I discussed that last week. As you see almost all but one of the horses was down in class. Uh, there were a couple of scratchings before they actually ran the race on Monday. Pro Consent ended up being the top selection. The only value bet uh, turned out to be Dom to shoot, which eventually ran third in the race. But as I said, didn't bet in the race. Uh, the top selection did win. And so across the weekend, I guess, if you had just been betting on the two top selections, you would have had a little bit of profit because I think the starting price for Pro Consent was $2.40. So for those who are just betting on the top selections, well done. Uh, you had a small collect on the weekend. And so looking at our performance, as I said, only bet on the one race. Um, lost $22 for the weekend. Profit down now to $127.56. Strike rate just below 40% and return on investment now at just under 10%. This week only found one race again. It's very slim pickings at the moment. There are lots of open high quality races uh, worth quite a bit of money, but I'm not changing my view at the moment about betting on sprint races. And so only one race greater than 1200 meters uh, at Sunshine Coast, race eight. Uh, and it's come up with Desert Lord as the top selection. At the moment, it doesn't appear to be a bet because I can't get a better price. The prices are actually the same, but we are going to be betting on it, having $15 on Desert Lord because it is the top selection in the race. And the value bet, only one of them, Animate, uh, which is just sneaking in there. Wagon Wheel prices it at $9.17 and currently we can get $10 about it. So that's it for this week, really very brief. I do hope that you have some success. I've uploaded the file to Google Sheets uh, and uh, let's hope we can have a bit of success. If you have some other bets, I do hope they go very well for you.